G'day, I'm Gavin from Hurley's Fly Fishing. If fly fishing is something you want to get into, you want to do a course with us. We'll take you up to New G and we'll teach you how to catch trout. $99, get in touch with us and we'll teach you how to be a superstar fly fisher. Yep. G'day, I'm Gavin from Hurley's Fly Fishing and welcome to another episode of On The Fly. Today we're on the Rubicon. We've had a little bit of rain and uh, there's been a few fish held up just on the sides and uh, what we've got, we've got like essentially a glow bug or a little beaded fly. And uh, because now late in the season, they're gonna start to take a lot of egg patterns. So uh, we've just got one to take it. And uh, it's, a, it's a brook trout. So uh, they're not, there's not that many about, but um, We'll just get this one in the net and give you a closer look at him. All right, I'll just get him out. Um, and normally you'll find throughout like Australia's rivers, it's mainly uh, browns and rainbows are quite dominant. Um, and this is a brook trout, which is native to America. And uh, they're, in, in, they're pretty aggressive fish. And at the moment, because it's near spawning time, there is gonna be a few of those eggs around and uh, they're certainly aggressive towards those. But he's a, he's a nice fish of a couple of pound and uh, a little bit slippery this time of year too. I'll just show you that it's quite a different coloration and, and a lovely little fish and uh, he's good to go. We might just actually put him back and let him worry about what he's gonna do. So he's pretty happy anyway, but uh, there's loads of fish up here. Quite often, if you get a lot of rain, the fish are still going to be there, but they don't like a lot of the, the dirt and grit going through the gills, so you might find them on the edges. So it pays to have a couple of casts on the edges, and you never know what you're going to pick up. Hopefully we'll find a few more. Now it is uh, quite important when you do wait, particularly when there's a bit of flow, um, uh, you, you've got to make sure your footing is stable. So you've got to take one foot, make sure that's locked in before the other one leaves the, uh, the ground. And that helps you stay uh, pointing upward, which is pretty handy when the river's got a bit of flow in it. Got a nice little uh, bit of quieter water just on the side here and uh, I mean fish they're quite lazy as well they don't like to have to work too hard as we've always said but you find a nice bit of quiet water like that where they can hold up without using too much energy and the food's still going to get brought to them just get a couple of drifts through there and hopefully that indicator goes under Go. He's come out and, and he's got that. You can see he's got a bit of power in him too, and uh, if he gets in that current, which he may well do, all you got to do, you've got a decent rod. Sorker glides a five weight. It's going to have a good bit of power in it, and uh, you've just got to keep that line quite tight and uh, try and steer him a little bit. And uh, this might be a little bit difficult, but we'll, we'll, we might get him a little bit downstream. That's good fun too. That's good fun too. It's gone in some quiet water there. They'll, they'll settle down once you can get them into some a little bit deeper. They're probably a bit more confident. And we can steer him around a little better. 
I do love this this egg pattern. And as we said, it's something that's probably underutilised because of our closed season now. It's probably only a month that we get to uh, to fish with it. It's a pretty good month. Hold that rod. Get him to work against the rod. Get that. Oh, anyway, doesn't matter. I mean, that's half the battle. If you get him to take it, a uh, nice little leg pattern, a bit of a, a play downstream, and you haven't fallen into, well, that's pretty good. But uh, it's a bit of a shame because you were a reasonable fish, but there's probably going to be another one. So there we go.